And we have Miko. Stage Main separation confirmed. You can see the stage separation. Stage one on the right, drifting back away from stage two, continuing to power Dragon into space. And that's the first stage, heading back toward the ground, just miles away from the launch pad. First stage is conducting a boost burn. About 10 seconds remaining in that burn. Dragon nose cone deploy. Meanwhile, the Dragon nose cone has deployed, exposing the Trajectory Dragon nominal. spacecraft to space. Boost back shut down. Boost back burn shut down. Falcon 9 first stage counting down toward its entry burn in about a minute and a half. You can see thrusters uh, firing to control the first stage as it makes its way back toward Earth. Once again, to land at uh, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Landing Zone 1, accompanied by a sonic boom for those who are in the area. Five and a half minutes after launch, everything continues to go normally for the Falcon 9 first stage and for the second stage and Dragon spacecraft. Have acquisition at New Hampshire. New Hampshire tracking station, now tracking the vehicle. Less than 30 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. Landing of the first stage, scheduled in about 1 minute 45 seconds. And we have the entry burn entry underway. Burn. And the entry burn has entry ended. Shut down. Stage two, still on nominal trajectory. Stage two, still on course for its rendezvous with the International Space Station. Stage two, engine Stage cutoff about two and a half minutes away from now. Stage one, about to come back. Subsonic. And a sonic boom felt throughout the Kennedy Space Center and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station area as Falcon 9 first stage landing legs deploy returns to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zone one.